Welcome to Edge Kids. As a family, we get to know Christ, be the church, and serve our community with a message of hope, truth, and love. We're so excited that you're here with us today. Welcome to week three as we're continuing on our journey of investigating the Bible. We are zooming in on the Word and we're discovering all of these different images of what the Bible is like. Now, so far, we have gone on a little bit of an ice spy. We have ice spied that the Word is like a sword. Remember, it's a powerful weapon. Last week, we zoomed in on the Bible and discovered that the Bible is like a seed that we can plant in our hearts. Today and over the next few weeks, we're going to learn four more. So do you remember what they are? Let's all stand up. Amazing. We've got the sword. We've got the seed that we plant in the ground. We've got the hammer. We've got the mirror. We've got the lamp that's a light into our feet. And we've got the food that we eat. Okay. Are you ready to do the song? Amazing. Let's go for it. Today, we are talking about the hammer. Exactly, we're talking that the Word of God is like a hammer. Now, we've got a couple of facts that we are going to study today as we research the hammer. Fact number one, it breaks down lies. And fact number two, it builds up truth. Now, you can probably see here, there's a few negative things going on. There's a few lies that I can see here. So fact number one, the Word of God, being like a hammer, it actually breaks down lies. Now, I don't know if you can read some of these here. Have you ever believed some of these lies? Do you ever think some of these lies? Do you know what? We need the word of God to help us remember the truth and help us go, I don't want to believe that lie anymore. I need the word of God that's like a hammer to come in and to actually smash away some of these things. You know what? Like this. What? There it goes. It breaks down the lie that you're not special. What? It breaks down the lie that says you're not loved. What? It breaks down the lie that says I'm a bad friend. It breaks down this lie. It breaks down this lie. It breaks down the lies that we actually believe. Do you know what? Jeremiah 23 verse 29 says, Is not my word like a hammer that smashes rock to pieces? That sounds really dangerous, but you know what? Sometimes we need to break down the lies that are in our head. Sometimes we need to go, that's not what the Bible says. And it breaks down those things. So fact one, the Bible, the hammer, it breaks down lies. Fact number two is it builds up truth. Now, did you know that a hammer is not just for smashing and knocking things down, but a hammer is for building as well. Now, this looks like a little messy pile over here, but... Remember what we're talking about? Something like not being brave. Do you know what? We can use the Bible like a hammer and help us to build the truth. What does the Bible say about that? It says we can be brave. God helps us be brave. What about that we're not loved? That was a lie that needed coming down with a hammer, but we can build the truth that says, you know what? God loves me. We can use our hammer of the Bible to actually rebuild what God actually wants for us. He says that we're so special. He says, you know what? You're set apart. You're unique. You're a masterpiece. I've made you that way. As we read the Bible, we can build up and build up the things in our lives that help us know what does the Bible say about that? 
You know what? In Acts 20 verse 32, there's a scripture that says, now I commit you to God and the word. And you know what it says? And to the word of his grace, which you can, that can build you up. That's what we're talking about. The Bible can build us up. And when we see this, when we see that actually the truth that we can build into our lives that tells us God loves us, God made us, we're special. There's so much truth there. That's what we need to do. So remember, the Bible, it can help us to knock down the lies, but it can also help us build the truth. Does that make sense? Amazing. We're going to hear a little bit more about what the Bible has to say about this. Hi, I'm Pastor Dave. And I'm going to be reading some scripture today, which will help build up truth in our lives. One of the truths that we need to understand is that God will always love us. God is always with us and God has amazing plans for us. The first uh, portion of scripture that I would like to read comes from Romans chapter 8. 38 through 39, where it emphasizes the importance, God will always love you. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Not death, not life, not angels, not ruling spirits, nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us, nothing below us, or anything else in the whole world will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Number two, God is always with you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Remember that I commanded you to be strong and brave, so don't be afraid. The Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Number three, God has amazing plans for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Isn't the truth of the word of God amazing? One of the kids team are going to come share a little more about God's truth. Hi everyone, I'm Lav and I'm from our Melbourne campus. I love that we get to talk about how the word is like a hammer because that is so personal for me. God gave us the word as a tool that we can all use. Just like a hammer, the word of God is so powerful. Sometimes when I'm not having a great day, something's happened or I'm not feeling that great, I'll, I like to take some space and just remember the powerful tool that I have access to. I'll feel like I have no power, but when I lift up the word of God, I get to be built up by its truth and, I, and the lies get taken down. Just like a hammer, we get the choice to pick it up. It's just as powerful when it's just sitting there and no one's touching it, just like the word of God but we get to make the choice to use its strength, to pick up its power and use it in our life. I love thinking about um, the function of a hammer because it's never changed. We've been using hammers for thousands of years and we're still using it for the same thing today. Just like the word of God never changes and the way that it builds us up, the way that it builds up truth and breaks down lies has never changed. A hammer is used to unify two things like a nail and a piece of wood, it brings them together. And I can think of so many times in my own life where the word of God has unified me, has brought me together with friends and family, whether that's just us sharing what we're reading and how the word of God is speaking to us, or whether that's us getting together and reading the Bible verses together. We're always unified and we're always brought together by it. Each and every one of us get to ask God every day to help us be a little bit more like Jesus. And as a carpenter, he knows how important it is to have a great tool like a hammer or like the word of God on your side. I just want to encourage you that the word of God is so powerful. Um, and I pray that it would 
um, impact your life just as much as it has as it has mine. So I hope today that everything that you have just heard helps you remember about the hammer. So we've got the hammer, we've learnt that it breaks down lies, we've learnt that it builds up truth. And remember, when we're talking about the hammer, we're talking about the Bible. It can build up the truth in our life. And if there's other lies that need breaking down in our lives, if we think we're not feeling special, whoa, we can actually break down that lie and build the truth again to remember God says I'm special. God made me just the way that I'm meant to be. We can use the Bible like a hammer to build up and break down what we need to in our lives. Now, this week, as you research those scriptures that are there in Jeremiah and in Acts, I'm praying and believing that God is gonna help build up the truth in your life. And then we're gonna try it. Now this week, your, what your challenge for the week is to try it. And what we want you to do is try using the Bible like a hammer. Now, I don't mean go and find your dad's nails and start trying to hammer holes in your Bible. What I'm talking about is try and actually remind yourself about the truth of God. If you're feeling some negative things, if you're feeling some things that go, oh, no one likes me, no one's my friend, I'm not special, any of those things, use that hammer. Use the Bible like a hammer. Find some scriptures to remind yourself all about the truth of what God says. Maybe it's one thing that you're going to keep every day like a hammer. Keep hammering the Word of God into your heart, into your mind, and it's going to start changing the way that you're thinking. And soon you'll build this beautiful wall about the truth of God in your life. Amen? Amen. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's amazing that we can gather together, grow together, and go together. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see you again next week.